case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit heard the case of Coltec Industries Inc. v. United States in 2006, focusing on the tax code's economic substance doctrine. This doctrine stipulates that a transaction must have a valid economic purpose in addition to technical compliance with the tax code for taxpayers to benefit from it. In 1996, Coltec Industries sold one of its businesses, Holly Automotive, for a gain of approximately $240.9 million. To offset this gain, Coltec implemented a three-step transaction proposed by its tax advisors, Arthur Anderson LLP, involving the reorganization of a dormant subsidiary, transferring property and contingent liabilities to it, and selling the stock to a third party for a nominal sum. Coltec reported a capital loss of approximately $378.7 million as a result, which the IRS disallowed, assessing additional taxes. Coltec paid these taxes before filing a refund action for $82,803,049 in the United States Court of Federal Claims. While Coltec was initially awarded a full refund, this decision was appealed by the United States, and the Court of Appeals ruled that the transaction lacked economic substance. Moreover, the Court also addressed the dispute over whether the assumption of Garlock's liabilities constituted money received by Garlock, which would reduce Garlock's basis in the stock by the amount of the liabilities assumed. Ultimately, the court ruled that a transferred liability is generally treated as money received when calculating the basis of the property received. The Court of Appeals vacated the previous judgment and remanded the case to the Court of Federal Claims to determine if Coltec is entitled to a partial refund based on the sale of stock with a basis of approximately $4 million for a price of $500,000. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind, leave the stress of class.